One electron means how much charge? One electron means total how much charge? One point six into ten raised to minus nineteen. One name. One point six into ten raised to minus nineteen. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. In our case. That means as per state textbook. Sir, sir, one minute, sir. Ah. सर आप इसके बाद एक्चुअली सुपरपोजिशन और वेस्ट कराने वाले थे ना नहीं वो एक स्टूडेंट आज ज्वाइन करने वाले थे ओके सर और दो तीन जन का ना सुपरपोजिशन हो गया है ओके ओके इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स सो इलेक्ट्रो मींस इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टैटिक मींस रेस्ट सो व्हेन चार्जेस आर एट रेस्ट दैट ब्रांच ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज कॉल्ड एज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स सो State process theorem, which you have done in eleventh. Our twelfth standard starts from this. State process theorem. Have you heard about flux? Anybody has heard about flux? Yes. Sir. Total number of electrical lines which is perpendicular to the coil is called flux. This flux. is dependent on total number of electric lines passing perpendicular to the surface of a given conductor or coil is called flux it depends upon area e electric line and area so we say it is proportional to e into area into cos theta because we want perpendicular line till this it was in 11th now what is gauss's theorem state gauss's theorem and on this there are four application one definitely will come in the exam hello kamya hello sir uh, i have just started chapter you can you tell what is meaning of positive charge a uh, positive charge is when like when electrons are lost Huh. And negative charge. When electrons are gained. Okay. And what is the space surrounding charge called as? Uh, the electric field or. Correct. Electric field. Huh. And line, uh, the path traced by charge is called as electric lines of force. Okay, sir. Number of line of force passing through given area is called flux. Okay, sir. This much you all have done it. बहुत बार आप लोग ये भी सिखा चुका हूँ सीबीएसई को इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ में बट यू ऑल इलेवेंथ आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद नाउ गोसिसम इट एप्लीकेशन इट देर आर टोटल फोर एप्लीकेशन वन दे कैन आस्क इन द एग्जाम Now, first, what is Cauchy's theorem? This is actually eleventh standard topic. Twelfth, maybe they will not ask what is Cauchy's theorem. But after knowing Cauchy's theorem, we can use application of Cauchy's theorem. Hello. So, yes, sir. Cauchy's theorem. I am just writing according to. Gauss's theorem, electric flux is always one upon epsilon naught times the charge enclosed. By electric flux to a closed surface is always equal is always one upon epsilon zero times the charge enclosed by that surface. Again, I am repeating. According to Gauss's theorem, 
electric flux denoted by phi is always equals 1 upon epsilon 0 times charge enclosed by that surface that is flux equals to q upon epsilon okay no? yes sir according to gauss's theorem electric flux through a closed surface is always 1 upon epsilon 0 times the charge enclosed by that surface. Therefore, flux is q upon epsilon not pi cos this theorem. Please copy it in this. Again? Again? Yes, sir. Have you followed this line or shall I explain again? No, sir. Followed. Ah, any doubt, please keep on asking us so that I can explain again. Because okay. your ex exam will be postponed by three months. In May, you are having your board exam. So we have ample ah, of time. So, uh, ah, we yes, have ample so of my, time. Ah, ah, good ah, my prelims got postponed. Ah, so uh, board has postponed exam by three months. That yeah, is, I heard it all. So we have got time. So we can do everything systematically. So yes, where, wherever you feel that there is doubt, tell me. So Picha wala bhi explain kar dunga, 11th wala. So you'll get the idea. Ask. Copy this process wala. According to Gauss's theorem, electric flux to a closed surface is always 1 upon epsilon 0 times charge enclosed by that surface. Also, electric flux from a pi equals to integration of e ds e bar dot ds bar over closed surface. Therefore, q upon epsilon mod is integral of e bar dot ds bar. So whenever they say using Gauss's theorem, find the electric field intensity, we are going to use this formula. Q upon epsilon naught, which is nothing but charge and post upon epsilon naught equal to E bar dot P S bar. Okay, right now then I'm starting with application of process here. Our textbook starts with application of process. Yes, sir. One by one, we are doing applications. Applications of process. Expression for derived expression for electric field intensity. charged spherical shell. Spherical shell means hollow cell or hollow sphere or hollow sphere. 
derived expression for electric field intensity due to charge spherical cell or hollow sphere. Here, center O, radius capital R, having positive charge. This is the point at the distance small r outside the charge. So with O as center. R S radius drop and the hollow sphere. This is called as Gaussian sphere. If you draw the diagram, then tell me. Anybody is drawn the diagram? Mark sigma. Yes, Just right here, draw the sigma symbol. Sigma it is called. Okay. And just just be careful. Don't draw anything. This is one surface of hollow sphere where we are depositing charge. Positive charge. So for positive charge, intensity is always directed radially outward. Radially outward like this, oh. and area vector also you know it is radially outward. Area vector is radially outward. Radially outward means it is yeah. along normal. See, how Consider a hollow sphere. Very simple derivation. Hollow sphere with center O, radius capital R, to be charged uniformly with positive charge Q having Surface charge density sigma. Therefore, sigma is charge upon area or pi r square. This must be it. Yes, sir. Consider hollow sphere with center or radius r to be charged uniformly with positive charge pure with surface charge density sigma. Therefore, sigma equal to p upon. Four pi r square. Let P be a point near charge sphere at distance small r from center. Okay. This also followed. P be a point at distance r. From center, yeah. draw, yes, draw Gaussian sphere. Gaussian sphere means imaginary sphere with center O 
radius small r it will pass through point p or not it will pass through point p correct no yeah right this much then consider all the sphere with center o radius capital r to be charged uniformly with positive charge q having surface charge density having surface charge density sigma so sigma is q upon area 4 pi r square p be a point near the charge sphere at distance small r from center o let draw gaussian sphere with center o radius small r it will pass to point p रिटर्न करण यस सर एवरीबॉडी इज रिटर्न टिल दिस नो सर राइट राइट प्रॉपर्ली बिकॉज़ दिस इज एक्चुअली योर नोट्स फॉर 12th स्टैंडर्ड इट विल पास थ्रू पॉइंट P clear the right up yes sir okay. the intensity bar at point p is directed normally out because radius to the sphere is perpendicular the intensity e bar at point p is directed normally outwards also area vector ds bar is directed normally outwards according to Gauss's theorem. U upon epsilon naught equals to e bar dot t s bar over complete surface. So Q is sigma into four pi r square upon epsilon naught equals to e t s cos. Zero over complete surface. So therefore, sigma into four pi r square upon epsilon naught is e into area. What is area of Gaussian surface? This is area of Gaussian surface. Can I write four pi small r square? Hello. 
Yeah, sir. Then we write four pi smaller square. So four pi four pi cancel. Yeah. Therefore, P equals to sigma capital R square upon epsilon naught into R square. Write this derivation. Equal to sigma r square upon epsilon naught small r square. Yes, sir. Other sir also done? Yes, sir. Done, Aryan, done? Yes, sir. So, we got ES sigma capital R squared upon epsilon naught R squared. Or you can say ES equals to Q upon 4 pi capital R squared this R square epsilon not R square, which is same as E equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not Q upon R square. Case 1. If point P lies on the surface, if it lies on the surface, then small r equals to capital R. Therefore, E equals to sigma capital R square upon epsilon naught small r is capital R. So therefore, E equal to sigma upon epsilon naught. Hello? Yeah, sir. This also clear? If it is on the surface, then A is sigma upon epsilon naught. Copy this one. Case 2 is also there. Then one part we do.
American? Yes, sir. Others have also returned. Can I clear now? Yes, yes, yes. sir. Yes, two. Lies inside the sphere. Things point lies inside the sphere. Therefore, charge and close will be zero. Therefore, E will be zero. Because charge is zero, so sigma is zero, that means E equal to zero. Case two right now, point P lies inside the sphere. Therefore, point since point P, the point lies inside, charge and close will be zero. Therefore, E is zero. this yes sir so first application over intensity near the hollow sphere on the surface inside second application derive expression for electric a Intensity at any point near infinitely long straight charged wire. Long straight charged wire. Right, right. It can be also long straight cylinder because wire is like cylinder. Just draw this diagram of long wire. Radius is capital R. It is charged uniformly with positive charge, having linear charge density lambda. You draw the diagram, then I am explaining.
is the point near this at the distance r from x is I'm drawing the Gaussian cylinder CD of length L coaxial with AB it will pass to point B. Intensity is directed normally out here to this elemental area is also the same. Way. First, this wire we have drawn. This is excess Gaussian cylinder. Can I rub this diagram? Yes, sir. Just be careful, see what we are doing. A mathematical part I am explaining first. Phi cos is theta. This is mathematical part. So, in case you forget the formula, always you can derive in the exam by writing in rough like this phi cos is theta. Charge enclosed, that means charge inside upon epsilon naught is integration of e bar dot t s bar over complete surface is the meaning. Now charge inside we have taken lambda as charge per unit length. So charge enclosed by this Gaussian cylinder will be only this much or not. So this is why okay and we enclose this by this Gaussian cylinder. So only this much charge is inside or more that much only. That much only. See, once again, you understand what I'm telling. This is wire. Then you enclose it by Gaussian cylinder. So, charge inside is only this much. It has length L. So, charge inside is lambda. Lambda is called linear charge density. That means charge per unit length. So, I can say charge inside is lambda into length of this Gaussian cylinder upon epsilon equals 2. Both E and area vector, they are in same direction, directed normally outward. So what is angle between them? Zero. E and DS area is what? Zero. So E ds cos 0. Therefore, lambda L upon epsilon naught is constant everywhere. So, I can bring outside. Integration of ds cos 0 is 1. What is that ds for this Gaussian surface? What is this entire area of Gaussian surface? See, if you cut the cylinder and open it, then it will become rectangle. Where this is length L and this is that circumference total. 
this total two pi r na here not understood if this is cylinder i cut here and open it then this is circumference yeah this is length so can i say this is curved surface area yes sir what is curved surface area of gaussian cylinder again hello again hello again can you hear me Uh, can you can hear you, you take your book and close it book is like cylinder if i cut the book from the center and open it will look like rectangle area of rectangle is length into breadth length is nothing but height and that breadth will become circumference so can i say gaussian cylinder's total area this gaussian cylinder curved surface area will be 2 pi r l everybody has understood yes l i can cancel from both side yes so i get intensity at any point near infinitely long wire or you can say thin cylinder equals to lambda upon 2 pi r epsilon if medium is other than air then it will become k epsilon this expression for intensity near infinitely long straight wire yes can you follow now yes sir okay right now theory consider an infinite D long wire AB having radius capital R to be charged uniformly with positive. charge having surface charge density sigma oh, sorry having linear charge density lambda having linear charge density consider an infinite long wire ab having radius r to be charged uniformly with positive charge having linear charge density lambda let let p let p be a point let p be a point at a distance r small r let p be a point at a distance small r near the wire let p be a point at a distance small r near the wire draw a gaussian cylinder cd having height l radius small r coaxial with wire ap it will pass through point p the intensity 
at point P is directed normally outwards. Therefore, phi cos is theorem. Then from here. Therefore, by cos is theorem. Land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third one. Again, we are going to use the same concept, boss is here. So, first I am explaining again mathematical part by Gauss's theorem. As per Gauss's theorem, charge inside upon epsilon naught is integral of electric field intensity into E bar dot E S bar. So, imagine this is 
plane sheet infinite plane sheet that means charge will be throughout this left side right side everywhere on this surface so that means it will give me electric field through this cross section if i consider point here p so it will be directed outward positive charge p bar is outward even elemental area ts bar is out suppose this has cross section area a similarly from back side also it will have this is entire is one cylinder here from cross sectional area a this is p dash here also e bar is directed outward ds bar is normally outward so it will be flux from this surface which is e bar dot ds bar through point p and e bar dot ds bar integration through point p dash so this is nothing but sigma into area enclosed throughout total charge is sigma upon area upon epsilon not this will be equals to e into ds into cos 0 plus e ds cos 0 integration so sigma a upon epsilon e integration of ds plus e integration of ds over this area that is a so it will become sigma a upon epsilon not is e a plus e a okay just draw the diagram then i am explaining for you Only draw the diagram. Diagram part then. Yes, sir. Right. Consider. Consider an infinite. Consider an infinite plane sheet. to be charged uniformly consider infinite plane sheet to be charged uniformly with surface charge density sigma to be charged uniformly with surface charge density sigma Let P be a point. At a distance r, let P be a point at a distance r near the charge sheet. Near the charge sheet. imagine a gaussian cylinder of 
area of cross section passing of area of cross section a passing through sheet passing through sheet such that the plane surfaces of cylinder are equidistant plane surfaces of the cylinder are equidistant from the sheet from the sheet thus intensity thus intensity at point p and p dash at point p and p dash on plane surface point p and p dash of plane surface of cylinder is directed outwards and perpendicular to the surface outward and perpendicular to the surface then copy therefore by cos is here to three marks fixed whatever we have done today in the board exam done good e equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon now yes sir done everybody is done yes sir yes sir we have completed first part cos is